Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Talking Time Brothers 2, the last levels. Um, where we last left off, I don't quite remember actually. Um, oh right, we just finished uh, World 2 there. I'm just going to make a quick double check into the Star Pillar Sanctuary to make sure we got all the stars. Can't remember if I checked last time. Got them all, good. I don't seem to be having nearly as much trouble finding the hidden stars on this left... Highland Hopal... I, I exited out of that too fast to read the name there. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me. But yeah, Hidden Star is not having so much of a problem with those on this half of the... Uh, always disappointed when I <laughs> find some sort of secret area or some hidden thing off the side to the side and it's just a Yoshi coin, but I've complained about enough about that already. And we got a leaf out of it, which is actually... That's nothing to complain about. So, uh, yeah, this so far doesn't, yeah, doesn't seem to be any level gimmick or reference to other games or anything like that in this level. Just, you know, good, clean, ordinary Mario fun. Nothing wrong with that. Good to have, like, one of these. Just, uh, like, a little palate cleanser between of craziness. Can I kill an enemy with this? Yes, I can. That's awesome. <laughs> that I, that should be a that that would be a cool thing for a level gimmick. It would be just yeah. I'll, actually, yeah, it looks like that might be what they're doing. <laughs> or yeah, you just pull coins out of the ground and use them as weapons throughout like the entire level. Or maybe that could be like a boss gimmick. Or s that doesn't look friendly. I want to get rid of you. Or actually, Yoshi can eat it. This won't be a problem. That's f that's really funny, actually. I didn't realize. Oh, you jerk! Whoa. Okay, can't quite make that. Um, you help me out. Oh, oh, that's what they. I don't know. That's a bit. That looks a bit dangerous to try and go underneath there. I don't think I really want to mess with that. Man, this looks tough. Um, I think maybe if I just run along here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eat coiny death. <laughs> Let's just... Okay, and this... Uh, yeah, I should probably use this to kill something before it injures me. Ah, perfect. Thank you, little piranha buddy. buddy. You have... Formed a noble sacrifice. Um, whoops, I don't know that I want to hit that. Okay, and what do we got here? Oh, just a one-up. Another thing that I'm sort of disappointed to find these days, whenever I encounter some sort of hidden secret-ish thing. Because yeah, what, we're really not hurting for one-ups at this point at all. <laughs> we, er, I don't know if the coin got that or if the tail did. Okay. Yeah, this is actually, like, the most ordinary level I think we might have seen in some time. Or I guess we've still got the hidden star to look out for this. That looks kind of suspicious over there. I guess there's a checkpoint right there. And okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought this little crevice here looked suspicious. Although, can I actually enter this? No. Or, I don't know if this is just, like, a lower area for you to fall to as, like, punishment for failing the upper part. Doesn't look like there's anything of use down here. Whoa! Okay, over there also looks worth checking out, unless it's just part of the level. I don't know, maybe we're doing a shortcut here or something, or if, I don't know if this is a secret or not. Oh! That was simple enough. Okay, and I guess that this... Okay, and this is the part where you exit from, because there's probably no way back up from where I just came from. So, okay. Um, yeah, a bit of a simple hidden star. Just, I, I, I'm not sure if that is much of a hint. I don't know why. Just, yeah, the whole... Just, yeah, little... I guess, cavity there in the side of the... hill just sort of made me suspicious and think there might be something down there. It kind of irritates me, uh, though, when, uh, yeah, hit stuff is hidden where it's just like you fall down a random pit that 
and to sort of risk death and hope that falling down doesn't kill you. They did that with, I think, one or two previous stars, and I had a hard time finding... Oh yeah, it was the Sushi Samba one that was like that, and I was like... Yeah, I couldn't figure out. I don't know. It's kind of... I mean, any when you ha any sort of hidden anything in a video game is always just going to annoy some people, no matter what. Especially when you sort of lock away content behind hidden stuff. Because there, there's always going to be some people out there who just aren't going to get the hint. And then, and then, or you could just make the hints really obvious so that everyone will get your hints. But then you'll have other people complaining that the hints are too obvious. So yeah, it's just. Hidden stuff in video games, you just can't ever win. And I th don't remember if this level had two exits or not. This is a really simple level. It's, I mean, not not to complain about it or anything. This is actually, I actually like it a fair bit, but this is like the sort of thing I think I might expect, like maybe early on in World 1. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I, whoops, damn it. Just always take a hit every single time you start complaining or commenting about the lack of difficulty. That's the way this LP thing works. But yeah, like I s oh. Oh, and yeah, that was not a good use of that ice flower there. I think I might want to hurry through this. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, I might want to hurry through this before I get killed. Now, this, this is actually... Okay, yeah, me and my big mouth. Actually, it's... Really? That didn't look like... Okay. I was thinking I might <coughs> just get through that in one... My first try there, but okay. A lot of that was just my own stupidity slash bad luck. Because, yeah, I probably would have finished that level without... this level without any problems if I had not wasted that ice flower. But we got the star, so we know that there's no reason to waste too much time our next time through. So, yeah. I'm um, kind of out of things to say about this level. Just, you know, good to have one of these sort of normal ones every once in a while. Ooh, that's over there. Looks like it might be something cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, give me something cool. That's good. I will accept it graciously. Okay. And, yeah, this this actually seems like a pretty long level. Or, I think I was just going unusually slowly before on account of, I don't know, not wanting to jinx my, you know, clearing the level my first time through. Whoa! Ah, that was unfortunate. Okay, this, this is tricky, because if you don't get those, like, exactly right, so, okay. And so this can maybe give me a little bit of breathing room. Because, yeah, if you're, if you're just, like, a little bit off... Well, okay. I think... Okay, that'll give me a little breathing room on the one side. Oh, that's funny. I didn't even know you could hide coins in the... Oh, damn. Okay, I think I might want to hurry through here before something else kills me. And there we go. Um, I don't think I want to mess with that. No shortage of 1-ups here. I'd rather just clear the level safely and soundly. And we got the last little piranha hopper there. It's the king of the hill. I land hop along. Yeah, neat little level there. Oh, right, we had that alternate path there, too. Um, we'll see if it joins. I think there's a good chance, I think, that it will join up there after this level. Poke floats. Yep, okay. Poke floats. I think I know what this is a reference to. Yep. Okay, I thought that might be a spike there. Yeah, poke floats, a reference to the Poke Floats level in uh, Super Smash Brothers. Was it Brawl or Melee? I'm not much of a Smash. A Smabura fan myself. Smabura being what the kids in Japan call it, from what I hear. 
Yeah, just not a big fighting game fan in general. Mainly on account of just like... Uh... Oh, this is actually a slope. That's kind of funny. Oh, right, right. These are Super Mario 2 enemies. Ooh, this looks like a tricky jump. Yeah, Poke Floats level from... I think it was Smash Brothers Melee at the Poke Floats level. So here we are with Poke Floats. It's pronounced Poke Floats because there's no accent on the E. If you guys didn't know that. Although, for all I know, trying to have an accented... What is that, an ac accent AU? I don't remember anything from French back in high school. What are you? Okay. Oh, that is tricky. I think I might want to pass by underneath there. So yeah, without, without the accent on the E, it becomes poke floats. I don't know if that's what you were going for, but anyways, yeah. Super Mario Bros. X being what it is, maybe putting the accent over the E would have, like, crashed the game for French people or something. I don't know. That's uh, Apparently that's actually a thing, where, uh... Regional differences causes some levels not to work if your system locale is set to like non-English because uh, because of the decimals that they use for some of the values for the numeric values for certain things because they use commas for decimal points in some regions instead of uh, periods. So yeah, as a, as, as a result, apparently. This game just, uh, a lot of levels in this game just don't work for non-US uh, keyboard layouts. Which is, yeah, really funny. Super Mario Brothers X, the gift that keeps on giving. Giving us things to laugh at, eh, slash complain about, slash... Ooh, um, Pidgeys, maybe, these are supposed to be. If I remember my Pokemon names correctly from my Pokemon days. The Pokemans, as they we liked to call them back in the day before that meme became super, super tired and overdone. Actually, Pokemon was actually the only Game Boy game I ever owned. Because, yeah, I, I, first, I think I first got into Pokemon by the cartoon... And I, like, really wanted to play the game after that, so as a result, I ended up getting a Game Boy just for Pokémon, and I never bought... and I never got another game. And actually, I sort of grew out of the Pokémon fad before the next generation of Pokémon games came out. So actually, I, to this day, I still have my, my Game Boy... I think it was the Game Boy Mini or something like that it was called, and my copy of Pokémon Red, and that's the only Game Boy game I ever owned for it. My sister, who was a bit younger than me, I guess, uh, got Pokemon Gold. Because, yeah, she, she stuck with the Pokemon thing for a bit longer than me. And this is a pipe. Doesn't look like it. Oh, damn. So I guess, yeah, and she's sort of out of the whole video game playing thing entirely at this point. So I guess, technically, you could say that the Pokemon Gold is pretty much mine at this point. Like, if I, if, I, if I felt like playing Pokemon Gold at any point, I could just, like, ask her if I could have it, and it would be mine for the taking, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't know why I thought I was that gloom in the corner there. Oh, man, this could be tough. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can remember all my Pokemon names. So this is a Gloom, or maybe a Vile Plume. No, Vile Plumes were bigger. And those were Ghastlies over there. I guess, oh yeah, and these little recolored snakes must be Ekans. Ekanses. Okay, and probably, probably we needed our raccoon tail here. Yeah, I can't break. Oh no. Okay, this will be a bit tricky. Is it just me, or is this like Pink Panther music? I don't think that fits very well. Okay, you get the hell out of here. Oh, that was delightful. Oh, right, and yeah, the door was where we came in from. Um, I kind of... Oh, I don't think there is a way down there, actually. Yeah, the screen doesn't... Whoa, damn. Nasty. 
Because, yeah, I think there was a mushroom or something in one of those blocks. Yeah, the screen doesn't wrap around, so there's no way for... Whoa. I don't know if this was in, like, a... If this is a or may maybe there's a mushroom in the next room. Because, yeah, normally these levels will give you a mushroom, like, right after the checkpoint. Which is good, because it prevents situations like we had in that Journey to the Right level, where it just, like throws a hammer brother at you right off the bat with no power up and you just die a million times to the first enemy. Oh wow, I think I got crushed by a snake head there. Yeah, he crushed me before I could grab him. But yeah, I I'm pretty sure that they intended you to start down on the bottom there and get a mushroom out of one of those blocks. That sucked. Yeah, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. It would be really nice to have a mushroom here for all of these bullet shooting Ekans is. Which isn't really canon. I don't think Ekans had any sort of projectile attack. Maybe poison spit or something like that. I mean, his signature attack, I believe, was like he is. He had coil, or whatever it was called, or wrap attack. A lot, a lot of moves in Pokemon are just sort of like copies of each other. I believe there was a coil attack and a wrap attack, or something like that. That were just like the exact same move, only like one was stronger. And I, I, I tried getting back into the Pokemon series. Ah, that was... slowdown problems. A couple times with like the more recent generations, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm just like... Yeah, just RPGs, especially that sort of old-schoolish style of RPG is just... Man, cannot jump out of that water consistently. Oh well, we've got lives to spare! And actually, I don't think... If I get a running jump, yeah, I don't even need to stand on the snake head. God damn it! Frickin' Magikarp, too strong. What was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. I tried. To, I think it was like Pokemon Sapphire or something like that. I tried to play, and just couldn't really get into it. That whole style of RPG just has never really been my thing ever. God damn it! I don't know if I can't grab him when I'm like just on the corner there or something, because I tried to pick him up there, and I don't know if it didn't work or if he just uh, killed me before it could go off. Because yeah, I do want to hit those blocks, in order to get myself a Voltorb. And I want to kill these things so it'll be easy... Okay, there we go. That doesn't help me so much. Okay, there we go. That helps. Actually, I might not even have to deal with that guy. Okay, so wait a little bit longer. Two... Okay, that's one down. Okay, cut, maybe count two again. One, two. Okay, maybe count like a fraction of a second less than two. Okay, wait till he starts flashing. One. Okay, perfect. That was a nice little hidden star. Little timing puzzle, they give you plenty of volt orbs there to sort of figure it out. Oh! Are those not cheap sheeps? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just jump on Cheap Cheeps. I don't know what enemies those must be, then. Unless maybe they're, like, the spiky Cheap Cheeps. I think that's an enemy that exists in Mario. So, okay. Don't fuck with Magikarps. Um, can I go under the sky so I can? That was very close. Okay, probably up this pipe. And back to the poke floats. Oh, that was it! Wow, very short second half of the level there. Can't complain, it was pre it was pretty t a pretty tough second half of the level. Alright, uh, no it wasn't, I was just playing dumb. And... Yep, just as I predicted, 